All right, so our goal in this video is to look at creating inset maps and extent indicators. So in this map, I already have two inset maps here, um, and then they're associated um, extent indicators. So I'm going to show you how I created that. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just going to delete these frames. Um, it'll tell you that the associated features are going to be screwed up. Um, we'll just get rid of all this stuff. Apparently the legend had been associated with one of those. All right, so let's say I wanted to add in an inset map. So to do that, you just go to map frame and inset your frame. And I'm actually not sure which of these are working on. I'm just gonna grab this one and we'll just add it in here. Okay, so that's effectively that map. So let's zoom into an area. So to do that, we wanna activate the frame and it's just, uh, We'll use, zoom in a little bit, some area that's semi-interesting, maybe something like that, and exit. So now we have a little inset map, and then to show where this map occurs within this one, we can click on it. So you click on the map, you want to add the extent indicator, and you go to extent indicator and just add in the extent of the other map. Note that if you have multiple um, um, insets, you're going to have more than one option, but we only have one right now, so there's only one to choose from. Okay, and that should create an extent. I'm not sure why it didn't show up. Let me do a oop. refresh. Oh, I know why, because I'm in a different part of the map. It's not actually on here. So let's activate this, zoom out a little, and actually find that extent. Yes, yeah, see, I was off the map. Um, let's, let's see here, how this general area. There we go. We could also move this map if we wanted. So we could do activate and maybe move it up a little. That's actually right on the margin. So let's change this and just move it up slightly. I'll move it like here. There we go. All right. So anyway, that's that's that. Again, the issue was before I had it off the. I was off the extent. Okay. So let's say that works for us. So um, another thing, another things that you can change is. Uh, you can change the you know, borders, you can try to match them. So for example, if we wanted, let's go to border and we can make it, let's just use like this orange collar, set it up a little. So that puts an orange border. And then if we go to our extent indicator, we could apply the same collar. And that way, it's kind of, oh, I did that with the interior. Let me go back. Extend indicator. And we want to set this to no color. And then this to this color. So there you have an indicator that matches. So you kind of tell. That was, it's not really not necessary in this case. But, you know, if you had multiple, um, you know, multiple, you could use the color or something to differentiate them. Or you could add, like, leader lines that, to it or something. Um, another option, if you have something that's actually really small, small. so this is going to look dumb. I'm just going to zoom in here to a really tiny area. So we have a pretty tiny box on there. Um, so when if extended indicators get fairly small, you can also convert them into points. So to do that, if it's smaller than, you have to set a threshold there. So let's just bump this up a little. It turns it into a dot instead. Um, so we can maybe make it like a red dot. Or if you wanted to change it into um, you know, something else entirely. Um, let me see here. Go back to this. 
we should be able to actually just pick like a completely different symbol if we wanted. I'm just having trouble figuring out where that is. Oh, here we go. So like, for example, we could make it a star, for example. And then we get a little star symbol there. Okay, so that's, that's an option. Um, let's just do it the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go back to, let's see, this is a map of the US. I'm gonna turn off these layers. Um, so we just kind of have the state boundaries there. So let's say I wanted to add a US map here. So to do that, I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna go back to our layout. I'm gonna add another map frame, and this time I'm gonna add this map frame that's just the US. I'm going to draw an extent there, and then we'll activate it, and zoom out so that looks okay. And a couple other things, let's say we don't want a border, so we're just going to go in here, turn the border off, and let's take the color, and let's just make it something else. So I'm just going to make it like a gray. Color. Oops, we want to do our solid fill. We get like a, a gray fill and then a really a dark outline. We'll decrease the size of the outline a bit. There you go. So now we could go the opposite direction. So we wanted we could add an extent, extent indicator for this onto this map. So to do that, again, you would just be clicked on the map in, in which you want to add the extent indicator. Then you go to extent indicator. And now you'll see there's two frames. So we want the map frame, which was the first one. And that adds it. But as you can see, it's really tiny. So if we did, if we did, activated this, we could zoom in. And you could see where that is exactly. Kind of slow to update. So it's this little area here in West Virginia. So again, a, an extent might not really be appropriate for that. So instead, we could, um, I always get this reconfigured there. Um, we could switch that out to a point symbol. So I'm going to grab the extent indicator again, and I'm just use it to a dot there, and maybe we'll make it like in a red dot, or we'll make it a, a red star, and then bump up the size a bit. So that's where that is in the country. And then I'm just gonna switch this. I'm gonna do activate and zoom out a little. And now you can see that it switched back to, um, back to a rectangle because it's larger than like the size threshold. Okay, so that's basically it. So there's lots of uses for extent indicators. You could have a series of maps that show like maybe change over time or different data sets for comparison. Um, you can have obviously in, um, ex, uh, showing the extent of your main map within a larger geographic extent or showing your data in more detail. Um, so, and they're actually really easy to use and they're also dynamic as you saw here. So as you zoom in and out or, or move around, they uh, should, uh, the extent indicators and whatnot should update.